Welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to get into these messages, okay? Um, We're going to see what's going on. What's going on? Holy Father, Holy Spirit, okay? Here you go. Queen of a uh, King of Wands came out, okay? This is someone that is a go-getter, someone that's very ambitious, okay? This could be somebody that's very attractive. Fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sag. What's this, Spirit? Give me more on this King of Wands energy. This could be someone that gets what they want. Okay, you hit the page of pentacles. This could be someone that's younger. This could be someone that wants to give some type of um financial offer to someone. Someone might want to gift someone here. Give me something else on this spirit. A knight of wands. This, this could definitely be someone that have options. This, this could be a player energy here, okay? Um, someone that could have multiple lovers, someone that's unfaithful, someone that's in and out, come and go as they please. Um, this could be someone that could get anybody that they want. Give me something else on this spirit. You have a king, a queen of pentacles. Okay, this this could be someone that's very successful, someone that's very grounded, very stable. Hmm. This the queen of pentacle energies could be you guys' energy, because how this page of pentacle is facing this uh queen of pentacles here. Hmm. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It don't have to be. Give me more on this, Spirit. This could be this King of Wands that's hmm, very stable, successful. But I'm not getting that. This King of Wands is a player. They could have been playing this uh, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, guess who came out? The Queen of Wands. A king, a qu the King and Queen of Wands is a couple. It could be a couple. Hmm. This. Queen of Pentacles could be somebody totally different. This Queen of Pentacles could be you guys' energy. Um, but this 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 is a couple here. The page of cups. You and this um King of Wands could you know, y'all could have known each other since y'all was younger. Y'all could be like childhood sweethearts, whatever the case may be. This king, this queen of wands and king of, mm, I can't even get this shit straight. This queen of wands and queen of pentacles could be the same energy. You could be someone that's attractive, a go-getter, very ambitious. You get what you want. You're very beautiful, whatever the case may be, a very attractive, um, feminine woman here. Give me more on this, Spirit. Mm, you got the Sun card that came out in reverse. Someone is very unhappy in a situation here. You guys could be unhappy. In this situation, look, the four of cups to the eight of cups. Someone feel rejected. For uh, for a lot of you guys, you could have walked away from this king of wands. A tower could have fell down on this king of wands or on this relationship here. 
Yeah, the Ace of Cups to the three of, uh, three of Swords here. There was a major heartbreak here. Hmm. You could be very unhappy with this King of Wands. Give me something else on this spirit. The Five of Cups came out. Yeah. Someone is very sad, unhappy, crying over a loss of a partnership. Mourning, grieving over a loss. Give me more on this spirit. Mm. The Ace of Pentacles. Under this Queen of Wands. I mean, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. You're someone that's very successful here. You're someone that's about to uh, receive some type of financial gain here. Yeah, with the four of pentacles under this queen of wands energy. I'm thinking this, I, I'm telling you, this queen of wands and queen of pentacles is the same energy. You guys' energy. You was involved with this king of wands. Someone is holding on tight to you. Okay, they are refusing to let you go. The page of swords, they could be watching you, spying on you. You need something else on this spirit. Yeah, you've been through a lot, went through a lot, you carry a lot, you've been through a battle here. Okay, you could be traumatized by this connection with this King of Wands here. There's a lot of trauma here, the Knight of Cups. Someone wants to bring in some type of offer here. This King of Wands could have played you. Hmm. If this, if, if this Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles not the same energy, this is somebody who they're currently dealing with or talking to. This could be a, a lover or an option of theirs. But someone is very happy. I mean, unhappy here. Yeah, you had the Three of Cups to the Nine of Swords energy to the World card. Something, a cycle has ended here. Someone is stressed. Someone is crying, having nightmares over this situation because of a third party situation. The Three of Cups here. Give me something else on this spirit. Yeah, some type of separation. Ten of Cups in reverse. A family dynamic. Mm-hmm. You could be someone that's traumatized by the situation here. A lot of trauma, a lot of unhappiness, a lot of sadness, a lot of like wounds, a lot of things that someone had to carry because of this player energy here. Some of you guys could be self-healing yourself here, going within, doing a lot of resting. Yeah, the Queen of Cups to the High Priestess energy. You're someone that's very spiritual, very grounded. You have a lot of faith in your um divine, okay, in your higher ups. You have hidden knowledge and wisdom. You're protecting yourself with the Seven of Wands. Standing your ground. You could be living your best life, being single, self-efficient, independent, gaining some type of strength, overcoming this heartbreak. Give me something else on this spur, please, and thank you. For some of you guys, you could have had kids with this um, King of Wands. Or Queen of Wands. Look, I'm telling you, the Two of Cups came out in reverse. Over top of the King and Queen of Wands. There's a partnership. 
that could have came to an end here. You had a two of cups in reverse and a ten of cups. This is a family dynamic and a um partnership. That's yeah, the moon card. There could have been some type of secret or hidden information. Something could have got illuminated. Someone probably was trying to hold this secret in or information in from you guys. Hmm. Give me something else on this spirit. You could have been through a lot in this uh, partnership. You could have curry a lot. This person was just out there being a player and doing them. They could have just had you on standby for whenever they wanted to come back in. Yeah, the Knight of uh, Swords. Mm. It's like now they want to rush back in towards you. I don't know whether they rush you into trying to fix this connection or partnership with you. That's, um, yeah, Spurs said that's the truth with the Ace of Swords to the Three of Wands. Someone is definitely coming in, waiting on their ships to come in, and, and they're coming in very quickly with the Eight of Wands. They might want to come in to have some type of uh, conversation with you. But you saying, hell no, to the no, no, no. Yeah, you standing your ground. You could be someone that's very guarded. This person has done too much with the two of swords. They betrayed you multiple times here. Okay? I'm telling you, they did with the page of wands to the three of, three of swords. They broke your heart. They did too much. Um, They could have... They could have played you with a uh with a queen of pentacles. They could have went towards someone that could have had more than you. Mm hmm They could have definitely played you with a queen of pentacles energy here. They went towards someone that I'm telling you that could have had more than you. Cause you I, I'm guessing you for some of you guys you could be this queen of wands. Um, feminine energy here and you're very unhappy when it comes to this connection this, this, this queen of pentacles could have had more than you and they left you yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. Mm. Wow. When I'm getting here, this this Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords energy that's rushing in towards you. I don't know. It's like they're coming back in to give feed you more lies. Mm -hmm. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, they're coming in to feed you more lies. More bullshit is what I'm getting. It's gonna end up causing some type of tower moment and you officially will walk away. From this King of Wands energy. Or this this person, not only they was a player, they was a liar. Okay. A big liar. Yeah, you got the Nine of Swords in reverse here. This Queen of Pentacles. Is like getting over or getting out of their head about this situation. They no longer um, worry, sad, or crying, stressed, or depressed over this situation. Yeah, the devil. Capricorn could be very significant here. Someone here could have had um, a lot of addictions, bad habits, controlling, narcissistic energy here, manipulator, the list go on with this devil energy here. <laughs> but you want to know what's funny when what I'm also getting? If this um, king of wands left you or, or, or played you for a queen of pentacles, Whoever they left you for end up playing them. Mm -hmm. They was giving their 
Lutuas gifts offer and pentacles to a queen of pentacles. But it's given that this queen of pentacles was playing them. Mm -hmm. And you could have found out about that. For some of you, you found out. For some others, you didn't. If they left you, played with you, for somebody else, that person played them as well. What they did to you, that person did to them. Give me something else on this spirit. Yeah. <laughs> the two of wands in reverse over top of the queen of wands. You're not making no plans to go back towards this um, king of wands energy. Yeah, you're not. They play too many games. The magician to the three of cups to the empress here to the four of wands to the temperance here. Yeah. You're manifesting um, major breakthroughs for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. You are out here being celebrated. You could be celebrating with family and friends here. Okay. There could be a connection or merge or proposal. Something that's going to be very spiritual that's coming in for you guys. In the near future. Yeah. <laughs> you're for a lot of you guys, you, you're not planning anything. You're not planning, you're not planning on going back to this energy for some of you guys. Give me something else on this spirit. You do not want nothing to work out when it comes to a partnership with this player energy. It's crazy. This person thought the grass was greener on the other side and they end up getting played. They call themselves playing you and they end up getting played. Is what I'm getting. Give me something else on this spirit. They was only dealing with this queen of pentacles because of what they had as far as their finances. Wow. Look at this. The six of cups in reverse. Over top of the sun in reverse. Yeah, this energy is very toxic. And then you have the five of wands in reverse over top of the five of cups upright. Yeah, five, five could be very significant for you guys. Mm. Yeah, this, this, whether this is a family, lover, or a um, friend, this person could definitely have been toxic. You, you're not making no plans to reconcile with uh, this past energy mm -mm. you don't want to fight anymore you don't want to argue no more you don't want no more drama okay because this past person came with a lot of drama a lot of drama a lot of chaos so you're no longer making any plans going back to this person you don't want to reconcile with this person from your past you don't For a lot of you guys, of course, you had your period, whereas though um, you were sad, you was crying, um, you was in your feelings, your emotions, whatever the case may be, because of the separation or heartbreak, but you're now getting over that. You're no longer in your head about this situation, and you're not making no plans going back to this energy, okay? Give me something else on this, spirit, please, and thank you, because all they did was lie to you. Nothing but lies with this Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay? They ain't give you no closure, no clarity, or nothing. Nothing. Look. Wow. The world in reverse. This I'm telling you, this energy is like they don't want this to be over. They don't want this cycle to be over here. Okay? The high font. Knight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles to the lovers. Gemini could be right significant to the devil. Capricorn could be right significant. Taurus could be right significant here. Okay. They was breadcrumbing this situation. Mm -hmm. They sure was. They was breadcrumbing you guys. They was trying to. This person could have been very obsessed with you. Mm-hmm. It's like they want to stay attached to you, stay attached to your energy. They want to hold on to you. 
They're not trying to release you. Give me something else on this spur, please, and thank you. Look, the temperance over top of the four pentacles. A lot of you guys are um, healing yourself and pouring into your own cup. Um, I feel like this energy with the world card in reverse, they don't want this cycle to be over. They hold it on to you. They want to heal this um, connection with you. They want to heal something with you. But a lot of you guys are standing your ground with the seven of wands to the justice. Something will be balanced out. I'm not saying with this past energy, but a lot of you guys will uh, receive your justice here. Okay. You putting an end to this past person, this past connection. Hmm. Give me something else on this spirit. Yeah, I'm telling you, look, the three of cups in reverse. Yeah. Someone was very burdened. I'm telling you, when it comes to a friend group or community here, I'm telling yeah, a lot of you guys do not want to reconcile with this past person. They've done too much. They've done entirely too much. This is a toxic energy, three of cups and the six of cups, both in reverse. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of you guys are working on yourself. You're building something here. You've been you. It's something that you are building for yourself. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you guys could be doing a lot of resting, self healing. Yeah, in this Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, a lot of you guys already know what it is. You already got that knowledge, that wisdom. You already know what it is when it comes to this past person. You healing yourself. You giving to yourself. You you don't want nothing else to do with this energy here. Okay. Hmm. Anything else on this spirit? Yeah, you got the four of swords in reverse over top of the knight of cups. So whoever this this Knight of Cups energy is, which I think is this um, past person, I I feel, I feel like a lot. <laughs> this energy. It was a lot of unfairness when it comes to this connection. This is an unhealed energy here. This person is unhealed that's coming in. For some of you guys, you could have been married um, to this energy, this devil energy here. You, you could have been, not everybody, but for some of you guys, you could have been married to this energy. They all coming in with an empty ass cup and unhealed. And it's Knight of Swords, unbalanced, unstable energy that want to come in towards you guys. And the Page of Cups in reverse over top of this Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this energy... Um, they feel like some things is unfair. There's a lot of uncertainties. There's a lot of back and forth when it comes to their emotions. They don't know whether to give to this connection. Um, I feel like this person is unfair. They just, it's like they don't have much to really bring to the table, but they're not willing to release you or let you go. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a toxic ass energy here. Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Chariot to the Star. 
there's some type of forward movement. I kept on saying um, that Ace of uh, Cups coming in. It kept on showing face. This could be somebody new that's coming in for you guys. That's going to match your energy. The King of Pentacles. Because you do already have the Queen of Pentacles up here. Okay. Someone that's coming in heels. Someone making some type of forward movement. Taking action. Cancer and Aquarius could be very significant here. Okay. Towards Virgo could be a uh, very significant. Someone here want to have some type of victory and success with you. This could be someone that's well known. This could be someone that's the boss, a CEO, own their own business, their own company here. That's coming in. But whoever this past energy is. I don't know. Use your intuition with with this person because there's a lot. They there's a lot of uncertainties when it comes to this past energy. They don't know what the hell they want. Okay, they just know they they can't release you. They just know they don't want this cycle to be over. But is they really bringing anything to the table? I don't know. I don't know. Anything else on this spirit? I really don't know. <clears throat> Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. And I think that's what a lot of you guys will be telling this past energy. Hell no. Stay where you at. They're not bringing no substance to this relationship or partnership. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life here. Okay? So, once again, I'm telling you, this person is finding it very hard to let you go. Okay? This energy could be very codependent on you and your energy here. And I feel like this energy knows they don't have anything to offer you, but they still want to come in. Look, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay? I'm telling you, right over top of the Knight of Swords energy. But they are very codependent on you. <clears throat> Anything else, Spurt? What does it say? Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I'm telling you. 50 50 fake out. Y'all ever heard of that? Okay? I'm telling you right now. This person is coming back with more lies, more bullshit with this Ace of Swords in reverse. Mm hmm. Yep. Wow. This person has not changed. They could this could be someone that uh talks that sweet nothing to you. Okay, this person could be a womanizer, a manizer. Pay attention to the red flags. I told you, use your intuition. The signs are cautioning you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. Uh, maybe for some of you guys, you can have family issues. You do have the Ten of Cups in reverse here. Okay. They could be a family member. That you may need to forgive. It, it could be your parents that you may need to forgive. It could be your parents that deceive you. Okay. Because you do hear the Six of Cups over here in reverse too. That could be a family, friend, or a lover for some of you guys.
anything else, Spirit? But this, this is a bunch of unhealed energies here. <clears throat> Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. With this temperance here, yeah. Y'all healing yourself. Healing that inner childhood wounds. Okay? Yeah. It, it's time to let go of these toxic karmic energies here. It's okay for you. For you to be at a place of um, peace and happiness here. Because whoever this, this energy may be for you with the sun card in reverse, you're not happy. A lot of you guys are not help, happy when it comes to a lover, family, or friend here. Flirt. Intend your, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay? So, <laughs> for some of you guys, maybe you are out here living your single life, okay? Flirting with other people, places, and things, okay? I'm just saying, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Put your focus elsewhere, okay? Because this energy ain't what it is. They not. One more spur, please, and thank you. Oh. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your life, in your love life right now. Okay. Maybe um for someone, someone could be having some type of financial issues that could be affecting your love life right now. Whoever that may be for. Okay, let me see if I can pour some more and then I'm gonna let you guys go. Mm. Let it go. Okay. Any more messages, for Cycles. Fate. Karma. Something getting. Something beginning. Yeah, you in and out of old cycle. And for a lot of you guys, you could be starting something new here. A new cycle for yourself. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. I'm telling you. Reconciliation. And they'll be back here. <laughs> Ooh. Sexuality over top of flirt. Someone is still figuring their self out. Okay. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. This is the second time Spirit is telling you to use your intuition. Okay, pay attention to the red flags of this past person that's coming back into your life here. Go ahead, don't come back uh, uh, talking that uh, sweet nothing in your ears because they're coming back with, with some type of deception, with some type of lies and bullshit here. Challenges. Make a decision. Work on in the healing. Yup, right here on top of temperance here. Liar. Be careful of someone sneaky. Can't make it up with the Ace of Swords in reverse. This person is a liar and the truth ain't in them. So be very careful. This person is very sneaky. Very sneaky. Wow. Open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Spirit? One more. Spy. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Yeah. Someone definitely could be stalking you, watching you, obsessed with you because I kept on saying that devil energy here. Okay. Commitment. Things are getting serious. For some of you guys, this would be somebody new to each his own. If you did take someone back from your past, just still be cautious about the situation. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope everyone um have a wonderful marvelous day stay safe stay blessed give this video a thumbs up till next time bye bye